Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Contemporary Resort. The Contemporary is going through some changes recently and Disney gave us our first look at the renovated rooms with the incredible touch to it. And also the Wave is going to be closing down for an extended renovation and it's going to be from July to the 50th anniversary. So I thought it'd be worth it to come out and do a little dining review. Anywho's, let's go do this. As you can see, the Contemporary is still going through changes. And let me know in the comments what you guys think about the incredible rooms. The Contemporary has always been one of my favorite resorts. It's an opening day resort, and it's just got so much history to it. So I'd love to hear your feedback. Another interesting thing is why I wanted to come out and dine at the Wave is because Disney did announce that it is going to be reopening with a reimagined dining experience. So it might not be coming back the same as it was. And there's even rumors out there that it could be changed to a steakhouse. They might change the name. There could be an incredible overlay. I mean, they're all just rumors, but it's really interesting. And I wanted to see what it's like right now, just as we're coming up on the closure. If you check out Disney Parks blog, they even say on there the wave of American flavors will also soon close to make way for a reimagined dining experience in time for Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary celebration. So like I said, there's a good chance the wave might not be coming back the wave. Right now the restaurant is switching over from lunch and dinner, so the dining room is closed and it won't reopen till 5 o'clock. So we have time to actually explore around the resort a little bit, and then after dinner, maybe we might hop right on over to the Magic Kingdom. It's one of my favorite things about dining here, is you can just have a nice stroll to Main Street USA after dinner, just so you can kind of digest and relax a little bit. It is a beautiful day out today though, and I love the contemporaries like outside recreation area and Bay Lake Towers. They're almost the same. They share it. And I did a staycation at Bay Lake Tower not too long ago. So if you guys want to watch that video to get a better look of everything the resort has to offer, I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out. For me, I think we're going to go upstairs and maybe uh, grab a drink before dinner. Earlier I was talking about how much I love the contemporary because of all of its history. One of the cool history facts that happened here was in 1973, Richard Nixon made his infamous I am not a crook speech right here at Disney's Contemporary Resort. How cool is that? Like, that is such a bit of history, isn't it? Well, I'm not a crook. I've earned everything I've got. We have made our way up to level four, the Grand Canyon Concourse, and you can see there's still a lot of refurbishment happening. You can actually hear them hammering and drilling up there. They're just ripping everything out. But one cool thing is the arcade reopened. I am so excited to see the arcades reopening. This is such a great thing. I don't know when it reopened, but uh, if all the arcades are gonna open up, I'm pumped. I'm really excited for this. Look at this. And this one happens to be one of the bigger arcades. Oh, this is amazing. The massage chairs are back. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I am so happy that they got these all open again. They have ski ball, they have basketball, they even have a Nerf arcade and a lot of amazing machines. Some of them are older and I think some of them are brand new. So they definitely put in some new arcade games. That's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen a Nerf arcade machine before. It's Nerf or nothing. Really starting to feel like all is right in the world. Oh, I love these massage chairs. Oh, they used to be in the Space Mountain gift shop a long, long time ago. You used to be able to get a nice little massage in the middle of the park day at Space Mountain. I wonder if they're going to bring those back too. Now I think we need to head back down to the Wave and get ready for our reservation. We didn't actually play a lot in the arcade as much as I wanted to. I did get to test out the massage chairs though, so at least that was fun. I'm just happy to see it back open. One of the things I'm going to try to accomplish at the Wave itself is ordering things I've never ordered from before. Oh, hey friends. Oh, awesome. No, it's okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> that is so awesome. Like I said, I'm going to try to order things I've never ordered before. And it's going to be really easy because I've only actually ordered dinner here once before. And I think I got gnocchi. I'm not too sure, but uh, we'll just have to look at the menu. 
it looks like they're still setting up for dinner service. So I'm gonna be able to go in there and show you guys around without it being overly crowded, which is kind of amazing because usually once it starts to get busy, the lounge fills up and the lounge is a popular spot. You can get great drinks and appetizers and I think you can get the full menu too. Honestly though, I could never picture this being anything else but the wave. Like it's just so iconic to me. And I love coming in here. We visit the lounge all the time and I love coming to the blue room. Like there's no way they can get rid of the blue rooms. So many monorail crawls started right here in this blue room. And I could not imagine, what am I gonna do for a couple months? Like this is set to close I think July 15th and it's not gonna reopen until October. Well, maybe the week before, but it's set to open up for the 50th anniversary. Looks like our table is ready. Look at this. The cast member came over and asked what I was looking at getting to drink. And I said I was kind of in the mood for a coffee. And uh, he said, well, you're in luck because I'm the master of the iced coffee. And uh, I was like, go ahead, do your best. So we'll see what we're gonna get here. <laughs> and take a look at this. He wasn't joking. He is the master of an iced coffee. I can't wait to try this. This looks very delicious. I always tend to listen to somebody whenever they say they do something very good. So like, you know what I mean? If they say they can make a good iced coffee, I'll believe them and I'll definitely give it a shot. Oh, and that is, wow. That is good. Like he had the perfect amount of measurement for me. I don't like it too sweet. I like that coffee taste and wow. How did he know me so well without knowing me? Now that we have our amazing iced coffee, let's take a look at the menu and figure out what we're gonna get to eat. Before, I seen that they had a bail bun appetizer, but it looks like it's not on this menu, and he told me it was for lunch only, so I went ahead and I ordered that. And then for entrees, uh, I was really sold on the sustainable fish of the day. They said it's a salmon, but I wasn't really feeling the salmon, but the thing that caught my attention was the rice perlot. It's rice served with shrimp and chorizo, so I asked if I can get that rice perlot with the grilled beef tenderloin, and uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going with. So basically, to sum it up, we're looking at iced coffee, bail buns, grilled filet mignon, and rice with chorizo and shrimp. This sounds like a pretty amazing meal. And plus, they have a bread service. So I'm be very excited to show you that. The cool thing about this bread service is they give you this nice sea salted butter right here and it comes with multi-grain bread. But in the morning, they serve this kind of pecan butter that is absolutely amazing. I got it with their pancakes. They have sweet potato pancakes and they were one of the best pancakes I ever had. And if you ask for it, they will give you that butter that they give for morning for your bread service. And it's kind of like Texas, Ro like Texas Roadhouse dinner rolls. Like their apple butter is phenomenal. Wait till you see this butter here. So I'm not too sure how it's gonna taste on the multi-grain bread, but we're gonna give it a go. Look at this. It almost looks like ice cream, doesn't it? But there's pecans in there. This is such amazing butter. This seriously might be some of the best butter I've had at Disney World. Oh, I cannot wait to try this on this bread. That is the best. Oh my lord, I love it. And while we were eating our pecan butter with our multi-grain bread, our bail buns came. And take a look at these little guys, this little appetizer. I like how they have it in the bowl, like a little bowl like this. I'll try to lift one up. It's got coleslaw on top. Very fancy. You can order these at the lounge outside of the restaurant itself. I think they're available all the time there. And I think I've had them before, so I think they're pretty good. Oh yeah, these are absolutely amazing. I love them. Such a good thing. So if you don't see them on the appetizer menu, ask and you know, you never know if they can get them. So I don't know if they serve them in here all the time or if I was just lucky enough to get them this time. So always ask. I know one of the rumors is that they were going to retheme this restaurant to uh, Steakhouse 71, which is kind of like a Steakhouse 55 that they have in Disneyland. And 55 being the year that Disneyland opened up, and 71 being the year Walt Disney World opened up. The Steakhouse 55 is in the Disneyland Hotel, so if they did one here, I probably would be on board with that. I mean, sounds really cool. I think we need a solid steakhouse on the Magic Kingdom loop. I mean, that's phenomenal. 
and speaking of steak here is my steak and take a look at that it's a filet i ordered pittsburgh so i like it about mid rare on the inside a little bit of char on the outside and then here is that rice that i was talking about a mixture of rice shrimp and chorizo this normally does not come with this this usually comes with the sustainable fish but i was very interested in trying it so i don't know we're gonna give it a go I'm pretty positive I heard about the Steakhouse 71 rumor from Blog Mickey. I think they actually posted it. Like I said, these are all just rumors, so you never know what's going to happen. But I would be interested in seeing that, and now I got a steak here. So it's kind of funny how that works. So let's cut into this bad boy here. Like I said, a little bit of char on the outside, perfect, with a nice mid rare center. We'll try the steak first and then the rice. Steak is good, but now we gotta try this rice. Oh, look at that. A nice big old shrimp as soon as I put down the fork there. I love chorizo and I love rice and I love shrimp, so this is probably gonna be phenomenal. Wow, I do have to say, this rice is absolutely amazing. Like, wow. It totally made this whole meal. And like I said, it didn't even come with the steak. So if you do like fish or like salmon, this probably would be such an amazing combination. I do have to say, overall, I really do love the food here at The Wave. I think I love breakfast a lot more, only because I've had such a great experience with the sweet potato pancakes. They were hands down one of the best pancakes I ever had. But overall, the food itself is pretty good. I definitely see that they need a renovation and probably an upgrade to the menu, just to make it a little bit more, I don't know, like coexistent with all of its other restaurants in here like you know what i mean like all the different restaurants inside the contemporary or on the monorail loop itself now it's time to head out i finished up all of my food and instead of getting a dessert my uh waiter actually made me another coffee to go and this is a different flavor the master of the iced coffee strikes again that was so good. Now I'm pretty full, and I think we're gonna head over to Magic Kingdom. I don't know if I should take the monorail or walk. I don't know, it's tough decisions, tough decisions. Well, looks like we're gonna have to walk. They're still asking for guests to wear a mask on the transportation, and I stopped bringing masks with me. So I wasn't expecting to actually take a bus or a monorail, and uh, yeah, I guess always be prepared. But that's my fault. So it's not too bad. It's a nice day for a little walk over to the Magic Kingdom. Also, I did hear some amazing news. Starting officially tomorrow, cast members have the choice to wear the mask and the goggles in the restaurant. So they don't have to wear their mask starting tomorrow. That's so awesome, right? Only if they're fully vaccinated, but still absolutely amazing. I'm so happy because we've been walking around enjoying the mask-free parks and it's about time the cast members get to work without them. We're just gonna start walking over to the Magic Kingdom and look at that beautiful sky over there. Looks like it's gonna be a nice clear day, no rain, but then all of a sudden we take a look over here and I think a storm is brewing. So we may only have like 10, 20 minutes inside the Magic Kingdom and a lot of people would say it's not worth it, but I mean, if you're right here, I mean, five minutes I think is worth it just to stop in and say hello real quick. Hello, Magic Kingdom. And then uh, try to run out of there before you get poured on. I'm up to that challenge. When you're crossing the street here to get over to the Magic Kingdom, this could be kind of scary. I mean, you've got things just flying all around. <laughs> I mean, this is intense, right? Look at bus flying in there. It's really awesome to see all this though. If we don't hurry up, we might not even beat the storm. I'm like trying to power walk to get over here. It's not that far of a walk. It's only about like maybe eight minutes from the contemporary to Magic Kingdom, but I didn't think the storm would be rolling in that quick. Look at this. It is like creeping right up on us here. Holy moly. And look at that. We made it made it before the rain that's all i cared about just to be able to be here just for a couple minutes lots of people are heading out i mean when you see the storm is approaching like that you kind of just take warning and just seek shelter and a lot of people are smart they're getting out before it starts 
I guess you could say I'm not smart. Like, honestly, that is crazy. Look at it. It is literally just creeping towards the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> that is so funny. Also, did anybody else think I was dressed like a cowboy today? I mean, I wore my wooden shirt and I got my cow puncher badge back on and uh, I just ran into someone and they said, wow, you really look like a cowboy. <laughs> and it is true, I do. All right, we have made it. So now we have to figure out what we're gonna do. I kind of want to ride a ride. Should we head to the People Mover? To Pirates of the Caribbean? I don't know. Oh boy, choices. <laughs> I'm actually half tempted to just stand here and watch the storm come to the Magic Kingdom because I think it's so creepy and amazing. I'm loving the way this looks right now. Seriously, just look. Beautiful skies and then it's literally creeping right up Main Street, USA. That is intense, right? That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. I think we're just gonna post up shop for a little bit and watch the storm come rolling into the Magic Kingdom. so awesome. I don't know how well it came out, but we'll find out once I post this video. Now I think I'm going to head on into Cinderella Castle and walk right through it and maybe uh, take a spin on Prince Charming's carousel. I haven't done that in a while. I never am able to hear the music in here. Wow. Sounds like it's coming from this door. It's so funny because right on the other side of the castle is that big thunderstorm and it's kind of blocking it. Right now it's so bright and sunny over here, but like on the other side, whole different story. I'm not too sure what possessed me to come ride the carousel, but I'm happy I'm doing it. Right now they're playing some Mary Poppins. Chim chimney, chim chim cheree. because I'm dressed up kind of like a cowboy, so I gotta come ride a horse. This is all piecing together. Oh, I'm so excited. We gotta pick a horse, pick a horse. That's the one right here. This is the silver tuna. It's even got a silver lion on it. I am really high up here. <laughs> and I actually had to climb up on this horse just to get on this one. So like I had to take a step up on a horse. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I love it. Gets me all excited. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hi, friends. <laughs> Look at all the pretty lights and being able to see the castle. That is so amazing, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> it makes me miss Knobles in Elysburg, Pennsylvania because they still have the brass ring. So uh, if you watch that video that I did at Knobles, on their carousel you have to reach out and you have to hook out a ring. You have to pull a ring out and if you get the brass ring you get to ride again. And oh man, how cool would that be to do that here? Probably a little dangerous. That's probably why Disney doesn't want to do that. But this seriously hits me right in the feels. Like I have such a happy feeling right now. Oh no, I spoke too soon, now it's coming to an end. Oh no. I ended all the way in the up position too, so now I got to hop down. <laughs> I'm gonna have to step on this one to get down. <laughs> Look at that. that's hysterical, isn't it? Holy moly, <laughs> it's taller than I am. Honestly, I really feel like if you're having one of those rough days at the Magic Kingdom, it's been a long day, you've been here since park open, and you've been going at it all day long, go take a ride on the carousel. I really think it'll make you feel better. It definitely makes you feel a little euphoria and just, I don't know, it really does something wonderful. If you ever watch Saving Mr. Banks, uh, in that movie they talk about how Walt Disney got Mary Poppins, and uh, I think ultimately it came down to... Uh, 
uh, her riding the uh, carousel. So like that's what I mean. Like it, it's definitely something that'll cheer you up always. And if the carousel doesn't do the trick for you, then maybe try Seven Doors Mine Train. Right now it says 45 minutes, but I think it just recently reopened because it was closed because of lightning in the area, which I don't understand. I feel like if we hop in line, there's a good chance that it's gonna start lightning and then they're gonna close the ride again, but I'm willing to go for it. I think we should. There is no way this is gonna be 45 minutes. I think we lucked out. I hope we can get on there in time before the rain starts. That was truly amazing. Just about 20 minutes, and I don't think it's raining or lightning because they probably would have closed the ride already. And instead of riding the front row, I elected to ride the back row because I don't think I've ever ridden the back row before, so this is going to be a new experience for me. Oh! <laughs> oh boy! Ah, oh, that was quick! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That caught me off guard when it came out so quick like that. <laughs> oh, oh, my hat. <laughs> oh, we're coming in. We're coming in. <laughs> I am always gonna ride the back row now. Back row on Seven Doors Mine Train is way better than the front. That was amazing, absolutely amazing. Look at this, we get a little dancey time in here, and then I think we get to watch the other cart come flying down the hill right here, and still no rain. That was amazing, but I think we're definitely pushing our luck here. We better get heading back or we're gonna get poured. Like it's gonna get, we're gonna get soaked. It's definitely gonna pour. Wow, I feel so lucky. Like honestly, I thought we were gonna come over here, probably hang out on Main Street USA for like 10 minutes. Instead, we got to go on the carousel, ride Seven Doors Mine Train, which is honestly an accomplishment on its own. And now we're heading out and not even one raindrop yet. Seriously, I think I spoke way too soon. I really just felt a big raindrop. Not like a little raindrop. I felt like a big droplet of water. So I have a feeling we need to probably run. Oh my lord. This is going to be so interesting. I think it's going to just start downpouring any second now. Like, it's like a light drizzle now, but these are big droplets. Big droplets mean a big storm. So we're going to try to make it out of here. I wish I had an umbrella. But can you believe if I didn't come over here, I would have missed out on the carousel and Seven Doors Mine Train? That blows my mind, doesn't it? It's crazy. The sidewalks are starting to load up, people are trying to get shelter. It really hasn't downpoured yet. Oh, we gotta get out of this picture. All right, so I think that's gonna do it for me. I think I need to put the camera away and make sure I get back to the car before I end up getting soaked, especially with the fancy electronics. You know, you don't wanna get your camera wet. And I don't have any bags or anything like that. I guess I could kind of like hover the hat around. I'm bald. Oh, anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.